acknowledge that the official opening of this World War I Upper Chapman Fallen Soldiers Tribute is being held on the traditional lands of the Yamaji people. We pay our respects to the Yamaji elders past and present. We are very privileged to have two live members of the Chapman Valley Historical Society, Mrs Barbara Shields, OAM, and Mr Bill Snell present today. I feel sure this is a very special day for them both both Foundation members of the Society. We acknowledge the member for more, Mr Shane Love, MLA. Great that you got a pair, Shane, so you're not voting at Parliament today. Um, Mr Bevan Suckling, President of the Northampton RSL and representatives from the Geraldton RSL. The President of the Shire of Chapman Valley, Councillor John Collingwood, Councillor Pauline Forrester, Mr. Morris Batalana, CEO of the Shire of Chapman Valley and Shire staff in attendance today. We also acknowledge Mr. Jim Prater, representing Lottery West. Military researcher, Sandra Plale, who has traveled from Perth to be part of this special day. There are many people attending today who are relatives of the fallen soldiers and we acknowledge how spe very special it is to have you attending this Memorial Day. Memorable day, I should say. Apologies have been received from the M from MP Melissa Price, Federal Member for Jurac, Honourable Darren West, MLC, and Honourable Laurie Graham, MLC. Anne Jeffries from Dongra sent apologies and best wishes for the day. Having been involved in a similar project, Anne has said she is fully aware of the amount of work and time expended in a project of this type. Jim Trabascus, Kerry Hood and Julie and Bernie Duplex all send best wishes for the day. I would like to now call on the President of the Society, Mr Warren Kennedy, to welcome you to this Heritage Precinct in Nadson. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Uh, it's great to see a great attendance here today and we'd like to just uh, reiterate what Pam was saying. To our distinguished guests here today, thank you for turning out. And uh, we have apologies to the ones that couldn't make it. But uh, it goes on, and I'd like to uh, thank you all you people turning up and all the direct descendants from the people who were killed in the First World War, the 42 of them. It's great that uh, you can be here today and, and uh, get some sort of recognition of what those people did. And that was. Um, their life, their, their life was taken from an early age. You can't replace that. And when this project started, I didn't think how this was that important as it is. And it's the, one of the best things that's ever happened to this museum and the historical society. And it's going to be something that we've the value here for many, many years. And we can't thank you people enough for that. For our volunteers, uh, who do a tremendous job in getting this museum to where it is today. Now, a certain crew, the uh, committee, um, were in charge of this project or so, and two in particular did an extremely lot of work. Uh, Jenny McKay in particular and Dr. John Sharpen. Um, without their experience and knowledge, it wouldn't be like it was. Lotteries West, who have um, done the funding for us, we definitely couldn't have done it without them. And the Shire of Chaplin Valley with Morris and Betelana and John uh, Collingwood and, that, and, and Anthony Abbott and the crew, we couldn't do that as well because they supplied men and machinery and stuff that we haven't got. And we might have the ideas, but sometimes we just haven't got the manpower to do things. But we are slowly improving things around here. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had a bit of a problem here with an emergency. We didn't have communications here, but we, we, uh, we were having a hard we to get, uh, we couldn't get mobile reception. So we bit the bullet and, and bought the kit that we could, so we can get the reception here and it's now done. So every time we're always trying to improve this so everybody can enjoy it even further. And I hope that uh, everyone can enjoy it even more again. And uh, next year maybe something else will be going on. But today is the day about remembering the ones that were gone. And I hope that we can enjoy the day together and after the event is all over stop and have a sausage soup and lunch and enjoy the facilities we have here. That's all I've got to say, Jack, thanks.